hunters back in the saddle. As New South Wales races back to life. Celebrate the day and yeah, make the most of it. If we pick the winner, it'll be a bonus. Come on, boy! Up to 17,000 people were chomping at the bit trackside. With suits and ties. Once a year, boys Christmas, right here. Glamour on the grass. <laughs> even special occasions. I can't believe I'm 95. <laughs> it was free reign for celebration in Randwick. <laughs> And across the state, the government is racing through its roadmap to reopening. How good is today? Some people are focused on the Melbourne Cup. I've got to say, to me, this is the winner. From next Monday, a raft of freedoms will return quicker than planned. High vaccination rates in New South Wales have enabled us uh, to bring that one December date for the fully vaccinated forward. There will be no guest limits at your home and outdoor gatherings can be up to a thousand people. Pubs and hairdressers can double their capacity limits and dance floors will be back at nightclubs. Indoor pools will reopen for recreation. Seated venues can be packed again. Music classes, sport and excursions will return for school students, while zoos and amusement parks will be subject to density limits. Going to a two square metre rule, for example, will bring many people back uh, into work faster. Uh, what a great thing that is. Gym and dance classes, though, will continue to be capped at 20 people. And you'll still have to wear a mask in most indoor settings, such as supermarkets, for the time being. If you're not vaccinated, you will now have to wait even longer to earn your freedoms. The date has been pushed back to December 15, or if the state hits 95% double dose coverage first. By moving that date back for the, to the 15th of December, it will incentivise, and we are hopeful uh, that we can get that rate uh, up to 95%. Right now, 93.6% of people 16 and over have received one jab, while 87.8% are fully vaccinated. Case numbers remain lower than projected, with 173 new infections and 333 people in hospital with COVID-19. But the delayed date for the unvaccinated has frustrated businesses holding out from fully reopening. Vanessa McMullen's cafe in Lismore is remaining takeaway only until everyone can sit in. 50% of our customers, you know, I estimate are unvaccinated and we don't want to say no to them and expect them to come back and support us. Challenging news for some, but welcome for most. Cayman Gok, ABC News, Sydney.